Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see some solid problems on Norton's theorem for AC circuits. So in the previous video, I already, I already explained about uh, the procedure for Norton theorem for AC circuits. Uh, the link is there in the description, so please go through it. The first problem is, uh, so determine the load current IL using Norton's theorem. So from the given figure, we have uh, two voltage sources are there. One is a 5 at an angle 0 degrees, another one is 4 at an angle 90 degrees. So he asked the current and the uh, load current that is IL, that is a 10 ohm uh, branch. Uh, so uh, to find the Norton's current, uh, so we have to remove this uh, load resistance with an input uh, load and make it as a short circuit and we have to redraw the circuit that is shown in the figure. So since uh, we have to find out this uh, short circuit current, so we upon removing and re, uh, short circuiting this uh, 10 ohm branch, so we have a uh, two loops are there in the given network. So this is a, therefore the two currents I1 and I2 are flowing in the two loops. So therefore the short circuit current is the summation of the two currents because the two currents are in the same direction. Therefore IAC is equal to I1 plus I2 where I1 is nothing but the current in the first loop that is 5 at an angle 0 by J3 minus J3. Therefore it is 1.67 at 90 degrees and I2 is nothing but current in the second loop. Therefore it is given as 4 at an angle 90 degrees by J2. Therefore it is a 2 at an angle 0 degrees. Therefore, IAC is nothing but summation of the I1 and I2. Therefore, it is given as 2.61 at an angle 39.86 amperes. Therefore, the Norton's current is also, that is short circuit current is also called as Norton's current. Therefore, IN is equal to 2.61 at an angle 39.86 amperes. Then we have to calculate the Norton resistance. To calculate the Norton uh, impedance, uh, for AC we have impedance, for DC we have resistance. Therefore, since it is an AC circuit, so we have to calculate the Norton impedance. So to calculate the Norton impedance, we have to remove the load impedance uh, and to form an open circuit. And second step is we have to deactivate all the sources. So and we have to draw the equivalent circuit as shown in the figure upon removing the load impedance and uh, deactivating that is uh, short circuiting the voltage source. So this is the equivalent circuit. So from the equivalent circuit with respect to Zn that is load open circuit the two uh, impedances the two other impedances that is minus J3 and J2 are in parallel therefore Zn is equal to uh, minus J3 into J2 by minus J3 plus J2. This can be calculated as a 6 at an angle 90 degrees ohms. So this impedance is called as Norton's impedance. After calculation of uh, Norton's current and Norton's impedance, we have to draw the Norton's equivalent circuit that is Norton's current with a parallel Norton impedance followed by the load impedance ZL that is uh, 10 ohms here. So we have to calculate the load current that is IL by using current division rule so that is in into zn by zn plus zl so uh, the impedance opposite to this uh, load is uh, zn therefore 6 at an angle 90 degrees by 6 at an angle 90 degrees plus 10 into the norton's current we are getting the current flowing in the 10 ohm branch that is 1.34 at an angle 98.9 amperes second problem so obtain the norton's equivalent circuit at the terminal side A and B. So here there is no load is given in the problem. He just asked to find the Norton's equivalent circuit. We know that Norton's equivalent circuit consisting of Norton's current and Norton's impedance since it is AC circuit. Therefore, so to find the Norton's current first, uh, we have to short circuit the two terminals A and B and the equivalent circuit is shown in the figure. So upon observing uh, the circuit, so there are two loops. We can do this uh, problem in two ways by applying KCL, by applying KVL. We can do any of the method. So here I'm applying uh, KCL at the node X so that uh, uh, the voltage at the node can be calculated so that uh, uh, since the short circuit current is nothing but uh, current flowing in the branch uh, phi minus j6 ohms so we can calculate uh, by nodal method so i'm calculated vx uh, so that vx by that impedance gives the current isc so if you want to calculate the current uh, by uh, mesh analysis so apply the two currents apply uh, the two loops i1 and i2 here so writing the two loop equations i1 and i2 so here you are getting two loop equations by solving the two current uh, equations two voltage equations 
by matrix method so you are getting the values of i1 and i2 where i2 is nothing but the current in the uh, short circuit path that is isc therefore here um, here i did by uh, nodal method therefore vx value calculated as 36.238 angle minus 96.13 after calculating this node voltage vx the current in the uh, short circuit path isc is given by voltage by that branch impedance phi minus j6 therefore in value is 4.648 angle minus 45.93 amperes after calculating norton's current we have to calculate the norton's impedance so to calculate the norton's impedance we have to remove the load uh, to form an open circuit and second step is we have to deactivate all the sources since in the problem there is no load given the terminals are already open so we have to uh, deactivate the voltage source in the given problem so the equivalent circuit is shown in this figure now with respect to this uh, uh, ter open terminals a and b we have to calculate the norton impedance so with respect to the terminals a and b so uh, 3 plus 4j and minus 4j are in parallel the this parallel combination is connected in series with the 5 minus j6 therefore the norton's impedance is calculated as 14.38 angle minus 44.06 ohms since in the problem he asked to uh, draw the norton's equivalent circuit so that therefore norton's equivalent circuit can be drawn by connecting uh, current source in with parallel impedance norton's impedance as shown in this figure third problem so find the current through the 4 minus j3 ohm impedance by using norton's theorem so here 4 minus j3 is nothing but this is the branch here given the problem so we have to treat this branch impedance as a load impedance and uh, we have to uh, remove this load impedance by a short circuit and the equivalent circuit is shown in this figure so here also uh, from the given figure so this uh, current source with a parallel impedance is there so by using source transformation technique we are converting the current source into voltage source with a series impedance as shown in the figure so and then all uh, we are removing this load impedance that is 4 minus j3 by a short circuit so therefore isc is a short circuit current we have to calculate so upon redrawing the circuit so there are two loops are there in the figure so therefore the two currents in the two loops i1 and i2 which are flowing here so therefore isc is nothing but summation of the two currents i1 and i2 therefore isc is equal to i1 plus i2 therefore i1 is calculated as a voltage by this branch impedance that is 4 plus 6 10 so 10 plus 8 j that is 40 by 10 plus 8 j will give i1 value and i2 value is nothing but a 20 at an angle 0 by 3 ohms so upon calculations of i1 and i2 so therefore isc is calculated as 9.31 at an angle minus 12.08 amperes so we know that the short circuit current is called as a norton's current in so after this uh, we have to calculate the norton's uh, impedance so the norton's impedance here it is calculated as uh, by removing the load and then second step is we have to deactivate all the sources so in the from this figure we have two voltage sources are there so we have to uh, short circuit these two uh, voltage sources uh, and we have to remove the load with a open circuit and the equivalent circuit is shown in the figure so with respect to the load impedance that is with respect to the open circuit zn um, the two impedances that is 10 plus 8j and 3 ohms are in parallel therefore the norton's impedance is calculated as 2.52 at an angle 7.05 ohms after calculating of Norton's current and Norton's impedance, we have to draw the equivalent circuit with uh, uh, current source I n parallel with uh, Norton impedance followed by load impedance. Uh, here the load impedance is 4 minus J3. Therefore, the current in the load impedance 4 minus J3 can be calculated as uh, by current division rule I L is equal to Norton's current that is total current multiplied with uh, opposite resistance or opposite impedance here. So, opposite to load impedance is Zn. So, Zn by Zn plus ZL. Therefore, the current in the load that is 4 minus J3 is calculated as 3.33 at an angle 17.45 amperes. Thank you.